everybody, and welcome to our Big Brother Canada Murder Massacre Mystery Death Party. Alright, it's not a mystery. It kind of is a mystery. Actually, it's not a mystery. You guys already know. But I'm in the past, but now it's like it's the future. Forget it. It doesn't make sense. It makes sense to me. But look, here's the deal. We're gonna talk to Goose. His goose is cooked, and we're gonna talk to him. But first, I need to let you guys know. Make sure that you follow, like, and subscribe wherever you are watching. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, thumbsing up, hitting the like, uh, and the bell on YouTube, commenting anywhere, especially YouTube, really helps support these shows. It's what helps everything, as is sharing, tell a friend, tell a family member. It's what allows us to do pretty amazing stuff like keep our Discord up and running for all of you, where we are airing the East Coast versions of the shows. Uh, so if you need a place to watch them, if you need a place to watch the dailies, we stream them right there in our Discord. We also watch Survivor, The Traders, we binge movies and TV shows. There's, you know, groups, birthdays, games, recipes, everything over in our Discord, which is completely free. So check it out, yourrealityrecaps.com slash Discord. You can also check out our website, yourrealityrecaps.com, for the archive of the past 12 years of our shows. Of course, I think you know that all of our current shows are over on our YouTube channel, yourrealityrecaps.com slash YouTube. You can get to anywhere by going to yourrealityrecaps.com slash what you're looking for. Instagram, TikTok, whatever. Um, of course, I think you guys also know that these questions come from all of you, so make sure that you tweet us them using hashtag YRRLive or putting them over on our Instagram or our Discord. And, you know, my last little note, uh, this is the first one of the season. I think you guys know by now, if you've been watching or seen any of these interviews, obviously, since it's jury, we have to stick to a script. Um, our questions have to be pre-approved. We're not allowed to deviate from the questions. We're not allowed to do follow-ups. Um, so, you know, if, if it seems weird, like, why aren't you asking more going into that? That's why we're not allowed. It's jury. So, without being uh, further adoing or goose is cooking, let's get right into it. Hey, Goose, how are you doing? I mean, I'm in jury, which is like I lost, but like considering the rough journey I had, at least I made jury, you know? <laughs> All right, so let's jump right into it so we can understand your game better, Goose. Who do you feel was your closest ally in the game? Well, I had kind of like a one-sided final two with Kayla. We were generally pretty close. Things obviously got a bit bumpy during my HOH week. Uh, towards the end, though, Todd and I got really close. He was definitely my most trustworthy ally when I left. So yeah, I guess Todd and Kayla. But to like Spicy B and Anthony, like uh, to a lesser degree, we were pretty close on a game level, yeah. So is that who you would have wanted to sit next to had you made it to final two? If I made it to final two, I would have wanted to sit next to Kayla and having Todd in final three, because I think he would have took me. But like he was just uh, he was very like more honorable and people were always talking about honor and loyalty and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I don't want to sit next to that in final two because I was a pretty big snake. Uh, who else were you working with in the game? Uh, Avery. We were pretty close for a time. And honestly, I considered doing a final two with her at a point. I actually pitched one to her. She's like, I'll get back. And she didn't. She's like, okay, you already have one then. Um, yeah, I guess all those people I've mentioned already. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you ever consider targeting the returning players? Honestly, I did. Uh, like when I was going into my HOH week, that was something I was considering. But then like when I talked to people a bit more and kind of got a better lay of the land... I was like, if the timing just isn't right right now, I don't have the support. But then I was like, oh, I might have support for Matt and Lexus. And at the time, I thought Matt was kind of like making subtle moves against me. He may have been. I'll find out after. Hard to say if that was like literally just me getting set up or if there was some truth to it. But uh, yeah, I definitely did consider just throwing up Spicy V and uh, Anthony and just breaking the house. But I just didn't think I'd be able to recover from it. Who would you have targeted had you stayed and won the next HOH? If I stayed and won the next HOH, depending on, like, who went in my place, I probably would have either gone after Avery or Tola. Like, this round, ideally, the round I went, ideally, I was hoping Tola would go, and then ideally, the round after Avery would go. So, basically, those two people I felt needed to go before some other things happened. But honestly, like, uh, probably I would have just picked between Tola and Anthony and Lexus, because, like, those three were the votes that almost sent me home when Matt went. So, it would have been... Like, what would they have said? Like, you know, like, I was, I hung on by a thread there. 
Um, w- initially, what were your thoughts of this week's twist? I was like, okay, this is interesting. This is cool. Oh, look, I'm not a nominee. Oh, I don't have a vote. Well, what else is new? I haven't voted since week one. And then I was like, oh, dang, I'm toast. And then, yeah, here I am. (laughs) If you could have switched any of the cast positions during the murder massacre, which ones would you have switched beside yourself? Honestly, like, oh, beside myself. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Besides myself. um, Todd on HOH would have been great. He wouldn't have backdoored me. So yeah, I guess put Todd and Spicy B and the Vito Todd as HOH. <laughs> During your HOH, you said that you felt manipulated. Who do you specifically feel manipulated you and how? As far as I can tell, Spicy B, Kale, and Avery played me like a 10 cent flute, but I mean, they did it well, so all the power to them. I'll find out more about that later, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, I thought like they were serious about a Final Four, but now I think they had a Final Four Bailey all along and they were just playing me. But we'll see. Who do you think is playing the best and worst game right now? And who do you want to win? Best game, Spicy V. Like, she's just playing phenomenally. Like, I knew she was a great character going into this. And I realized what a great player is. Like, she's a genius. She's playing so well. She's so well insulated. Like, I could see she was at the top. But, like, just she was so well insulated. I never really got the chance to do anything about it. I knew if I, like, said anything in that direction, if I'm not safe, it would be, like, instant death in the game um in terms of worst player honestly like i'm really impressed like i feel like it's kind of open right now i could see myself voting for anyone depending on how things shake out i will say though that i get the feeling that tola especially is going to need to like win quite a lot to make it to final two todd too to actually yeah todd too so probably those two i think really are in like a they have to win situation and like while i get competitions are important i feel like it's better if you don't need to win competitions what criteria are you looking for in a winner? And specifically, what will it take to get your vote? The way I see the game is you got uh, competition gameplay, strategic gameplay, social gameplay, control, positioning. So whoever is able to do like as much of that well, or even if like, sure, maybe they're lacking in one area, but they're just absolutely amazing in another. Those are the things I'm going to be considering when evaluating other players' games. I just want the best player to win out of the people in the final two. Do you think you'll be a bitter juror? Nah, I don't think so. I mean, obviously, like, it's impossible to not have at least a little bit of bitterness. But, like, I love the game, and I don't want people to be like, oh, season 12, so-and-so won because the jury was bitter, you know? Okay. Um, Is there anything that you wish you would have done differently during your HOH or people that you wish you would have worked with? I think during my HOH, uh, considering the timing of how things went down, Two things I wish. One, I wish I would have realized like how against Vivek, pe- sorry, how against Vivek people were. Like I didn't realize like how badly some people wanted him gone. And kind of going on with that is, I think uh, I should have just basically like Spicy V and Avery and uh, Kayla run my HOH. I pushed my own agenda too far, and I didn't realize exactly where the power structure was. I was like Spicy, like I knew Spicy V was running things, but I didn't realize that like her and Bailey. And Kayla and Avery were pretty much running things. That's my perception anyway. Maybe I'm a little bit off there. But yeah, I think uh, I kind of showed my cards too early. Is there anything that you learned about yourself coming out of this Big Brother experience that you didn't know about yourself before you started playing the game? Honestly, it's kind of more like I knew I was like a big hearted, caring person, but like I expected I'd go in here and like just be like, actually, I'm like the most edgiest, like flipper imaginable, just dark and edgy and ice cold. And then I didn't realize that, like, that's not what happened at all. Like, I cried, like, at least twice a week. And while I was able to, like, handle the game and play it, like, I, my, I always had, like, a big heart and just so much love for everyone in there. So it was, it was nice uh, to realize I'm not, like, some deep down, like, super dark, edgy, ice cold person. <laughs> Where do you want people to follow you on social media? Uh, probably Instagram, uh, I use that the most, but I'm gonna have to really navigate that because part of me wants to like get super into the social media, part of me wants to not. I'll have to play it by ear, but that's what I use the most, so probably it's... Do you want to tell them your Instagram? It's literally just my name, Elijah Kozlowska, so I'm sure that'll be out there eventually, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, love the show, love the fans, thanks for all the support. Well, thank you so much for taking time out to speak with us today, Goose. We can't wait to see you back here in the real world. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.
<laughs> well, that about wraps up our interview with Goose. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure that you are following, liking, and subscribing wherever you are watching, commenting, clicking likes, following, sharing, telling friends, telling family members. Those are all great ways to help support the shows. Of course, you guys know the deal. The archive of all of our content is on our website, yourrealityrecaps.com. All of our current stuff is over on our YouTube, yourrealityrecaps.com slash YouTube. And where our community is thriving is over in our Discord. It's where we watch the East Coast airings of Big Brother together. It's streamed right there for you guys to watch. You don't need anything else, crazy VPNs, all that weird stuff. Um, it's where we play the dailies. It's where we binge other television shows and movies, Survivor, Traders, Murders in the Building, Barbie movie. We have so much fun there. We play games there and over on our Twitch channel. And of course, you know that I am live every single day around 4 p.m. Eastern over on You Now, where we are doing like Eric live feeds. I'm usually live for eight to 10 hours. We're cooking dinner every single night. We give you a recipe with my mom. Um, it's a lot of fun. Check that out. We're always here for you guys, always live, whether it's that, Twitching, Discord, you know the deal. Thank you so much for supporting. We love, love, love all of you guys. We'll see you on the next show. Bye for now, everybody. Bye, friends. Oh, Comedy Jonah and I, you know, do the weekly recap of Big Brother Canada on Wednesdays as well. So check that out live sometime. Okay, bye. Or watch it back on YouTube. Whatever you guys want. Bye. Look, you can click at the end of this thing. You can click to look more around, you know, YouTube at the end. Okay, bye.